Babatunde Obadero, an audacious certified business management expert, vision driven entrepreneur, and industry captain, is the co founder and chief executive officer of Zitra Investments Limited, one of the fastest growing financial support and investment solutions providers in Nigeria, and indeed one of the 100 most distinguished CEOs to look up to in 2024. So Zitra came from my shared experiences with my two other co-founders. All three of us have been in the financial service sector for quite a while. Um, you know, and we had um, felt that there were gaps here and there we didn't think the industry was was meeting uh, for small businesses in nigeria it's quite a challenge to access financial services especially from a borrowing business point of view and we could see what the issues were typical example is to access finance using collateral as as your as your basis um, and, and the reasons are obvious uh, a lot of the small businesses do not have what we traditionally call collateral. And we saw that, look, in order to empower this or unlock the, the entrepreneurial spirit in this particular customer base, there was a need to rethink how we, we lend to them. And, 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 and we, you know, we, we saw that the best approach was for us to build our own platform and create our own enterprise that can meet and fulfill this, this market need. And, and, and basically, that's how Zitra was born. So we started three years ago in 2020. And when we started, our first license was a was an asset management license. We got an SEC license, and, and that's how Zitra Fund Managers was born. Um, lately, we have also gotten our approval in principle from the central bank to start Zitra Microfinance Bank. These two entities are coming to the marketplace um, at this time in order to be able to expand our reach uh, for customers across uh, your financial service industry space, whether from um, an investment point of view or a banking as a service, a retail banking point of view. So that, that's, that's where we're placed today. And in two months, we're launching our digital bank. Uh, it will be the Zitra mobile app coupled with our USSD uh, platform as a service, as a, as a provider of banking service. Uh, and then we can expand the horizon and reach a lot more customers as well with the POS uh, banking product as well. So we're really looking forward to 2024. We think it will enable us to be more relevant uh, in our customers' lives and find ways of meeting their needs, their financial needs a lot more than we do today, um, especially with the backing of the regulatory licenses that we have now been able to, to, to get. So Zitra is positioned to meet the financial service needs of Nigerians across the broad spectrum and find uh, meet those needs at their the way they would like them to be met. Basically, we want to come to where the customers are to meet their needs, whether they are digital, whether they are offline. And so it's about broad spectrum of Nigerians, regardless of their class, regardless of their level of education, regardless of their exposure, regardless of their income bracket, regardless of their earning capacity. And, uh, and so we think that it's about democratization of financial services um, across board. And that's why we're here. That's what we are set up to, to do. And we believe that's our destiny. I think it's a good time to say, you know, look, take stock and say what we've done. In those three years, um, we've done about 6.5 billion Naira in loans, um, but we're positioned to start to double those numbers from 2024. We've done, uh, we've raised in excess of 4.2 billion in funding. Uh, our balance sheet size is only a little less than that figure today. Uh, so we're positioned to expand in, in 2024 as we have more platforms uh, based on our digital digital access um, and then ha have more clients based on the fact that uh, we would have more presence and and then have more things to offer in terms of offering based on the fact that we have secured uh, our SEC fund managers license as well as a banking license which allows us to give a broader mix 
of products for our customers. So I, I can't have a better time <laughs> than this really in the, in the business. So as you try today, you can walk up to us and take a loan to kickstart your small business. You can walk up to us and take a loan to expand your business. You can have a salary advance if you're a salary owner. You can have an overdraft to ensure that your working capital requirements as a business is met. You can also come to us and have a fund placement uh, on the investment side. You can come to us and invest in treasury bills. You can come to us and buy government bonds or private bonds. You can come to us and access the stock market. So uh, depending on what exactly your needs are, Zitra is positioned to fulfill them across a wide variety of bonds. You can have your target savings. You want to buy that particular thing. Your wedding is a year from now. You can save up for your wedding a year from now by having us uh, take a particular portion of your income every month or every week or every day until the time that your event is ready. So we're, we're positioned, like I said, to basically, so we think that, uh, you know, banking is important, but banks are not necessary. I can have banking services uh, provided by anyone that creates a platform for me to provide that. And that's how we see it. Because we also understand that the needs and the behavior of our consumers are fast changing. And so we're positioned to um, meet them exactly where they are. The numbers tell us that the market have responded well to us. Uh, 20,000 plus customers uh, who have, some have, there are, there are people who have taken loans from us between 20,000, 2020 and now at least five or six times who have come repeatedly you know, again. Uh, we are in a position to even do a lot more than that. The restraints are, are already being dealt with because of our regulatory, um, the regulatory issues that we have now resolved. So we anticipate that we are positioned for scale at this point and we're ready for it as well. We're strengthening our internal capacity in terms of back office operations, in terms of risk management. Uh, we're digitizing some of the things that we do back office so that we can handle a lot more customer service and the likes. So Zitra is ready uh, to onboard customers from the length and breadth of Nigeria across all our platforms. I said earlier that for us, it's about democratizing financial services. And so whether you are the student who is unbanked or, or barely banked, but you need to have a place where you save your, your little stipend, whether you are a market woman who's barely literate, but needs access to financial services so that you can ensure that you have enough money to fund your business so you can put food on the table for your kids. Whether you are the person who works, you know, the typical blue collar uh, worker who has a fixed income every month, but sometimes from one month to another, there might be difficulty in meeting some obligations. Maybe it's school fees season or it's house rent season. Uh, and, and those, you know, so it's what I'm saying. It's a, our customer base has to be a broad coalition of customers across different economic lines, um, literacy lines, age or demographic um, in, indices. So we're not limiting our customer base in any way. We're not a niche product in terms of uh, uh, what type of customer we want. We're open for everyone across different spectra, across different um, uh, geographical locations of, of, of Nigeria.